conversation as last week, a close call and a little different circumstance than last week. But how disappointing is it when you guys you know, play better in the second half, put yourself in a position to win and, and don't get it? I'd say it's uh, it's it's really disappointing. I mean, this this team did wonderful. I mean, both offense, defense, and special teams. I mean, we we played a great da- game, and it just came down to one play. And we, I mean, obviously we're going to be upset about that, but we just have to understand that what we did out there was great. But it's that one play, and just understand that the little things are going to build up, and we have to execute that one play in order to win. When you look at the offense, when you when you take that and extrapolate it to the offense. Where were some of the plays that might have made the difference for you guys? I guess I suppose down on the goal line, maybe. But uh, do you look at any plays that the offense had responsibility for in getting over the top uh, that, that might have made a difference today? Um, I mean, there were plays here and there. Obviously, I mean, there were drives where when I mean, we first started out, I mean, I think we went two, three, and outs right away. But I mean, the offense understood that. I mean, we can just rely on our, our run game, get that settled, the pass game opens up, and then hit some play action. But there are plays there. I mean, Keys, uh, Cove, I mean, hopefully he's okay. I haven't heard um, any time he touched the ball. And then luckily the offensive line gave me time where I could run the ball as well. And then the, I mean, the wideouts were doing a great job both blocking and, and the pass scheme. So, I mean, it wasn't just one set play, but a multitude of plays that could have been what they maybe were to have a touchdown and not have to be set up on a fourth and goal or a third and one. But, I mean, we can just look back and, I mean, we forget this game, watch the film tomorrow, but, um, I mean, just be ready for next week. Are you, are you disappointed that the team kind of came out slow on both sides of the ball? Um, you know, that Missouri State was able to take command mm-hmm. in the end of the game? I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. I just I think we need to understand that we need to come off firing in all cylinders. Um, I, we don't want to be playing with our backs against the wall and having to be making up ground. I mean, it was a 7-0 start, two, three and outs, like I said, and then we get the things running. Maybe we get up 7-0. We need to have that mindset to where we can be positive and get that start and not have to have our backs against the wall. Jaquan's running style, obviously he's been effective this year. The arts speak to that. But the way he runs, how much of a lift is that for the team? Because you know when somebody's breaking tackles, Bust up, you know, the touchdown he had was one spun off of one for another touchdown. Mm-hmm. You know, those are just him keeping plays alive. How infectious is that for the rest of the offense to see somebody running like that and knowing, all right, we're going to keep the ball rolling here? Oh, it's awesome to see. I mean, when I hand the ball off to Jaquan, I, I know that he's going to make something special happen. And running behind that line, that line knows that Jaquan's going to run his hardest. I mean, he runs just like an absolute man, as do all our running backs with Cove and Titus. And just, just seeing that's really nice. And then it also gives me a chance to where I can run the ball too. And I mean, I, I try to run like, you know, like keys, but sometimes it doesn't happen. But it, you did have to hit the fake. I mean, it's almost like you can play action or run because you're faking the uh, Jaquan or, mm-hmm. or Christian, and then you're able to run. You know, just does it feel like that? You know, it, 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 it's not a play action run, obviously, but it works the same way. I mean, is that. When you guys get into that rhythm, mm-hmm. you know, how good does that feel out there? We have a bunch of different schemes, and I mean, when we are able to start firing all cylinders and really see how efficient we can and be on offense, I mean, you could see, I mean, there's two drives back to back where we just drove the field each time. And I mean, I don't think there's anybody that can stop us when we can do that except us just stopping ourselves. So if we can get to that from, like you said, from the very first drive, I think it's going to open wide up and where we don't have to be put in a circumstance where it's third and one and it's deciding the game again. Brian, the last two games have really come right down to the end. How close is this team to being where you guys want to be? Oh, we're so close. But I think we we don't want to say we're close. I mean, we put the last season behind us. I wasn't part of it, but seeing what these guys were and how much they've worked, we I think we need to have confidence in ourselves that we are there. It's just it's the little things that build up. It's two fourth and ones, third and ones, games back to back. And we haven't gotten it. We need to get that. And once we once we do, I mean, it's going to open up. And we just need to believe in ourselves and have the confidence that we can. So you think it's just little minor pieces? Just w- what's it take as a locker room for you guys to kind of clean up those things and, and execute? I mean, it, it takes from just from film, from mental reps, to to pods, to one on ones, to team. I mean, just all these practice reps building up to where I mean, we were put in a situation with goal line in practice, and we hit it but obviously didn't come out here. But we just need to understand that we can do that. 
get that touchdown so we don't have to put our defense in that position. Jaquan mentioned it. He said this offense scored a ton of points when you guys are executing. Well, mm -hmm. how good can this offensive unit be? I think the sky's the limit. I mean, I think we can only just beat ourselves. I mean, there are a couple holding calls and uh, other, other stuff, but if we can be efficient and be consistent on each and every play and with our run fits, with our routes, me throwing the ball and protection, I think we, we can do really, really well. You've settled into that quarterback role now. How, how comfortable are you um, in the offense? I'm, I'm really comfortable with what Coach Heck uh, and Aaron and Coach Hastings and Coach Switzer, what everybody's doing. That's really good to see. But I don't want to be comfortable. I want to be competitive. And I mean, I'm obviously pissed off. We haven't won these past two games. So I'm looking forward to our next, our next game.